morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're feeling blessed this morning. It is cold outside. Oh, oh people. Mm. Some access is being denied um, to some of you. Um, those who had been accessing your gifts and your services without your permission are being cut out. It's a message I work with this morning. They're no, they no longer have access to your services. It could be why, uh, like maybe lately you have been feeling a lot less, um, chaos in the in the energy field like maybe you just feel less disturbance in your fields and you were wondering like what's that all about you know like what's missing something's missing and it's because um those who have been accessing your fields and manipulating your bodies um no longer have access to your services so, Spirit, what is it that the collective needs to know at this time about the energies? Mm. We've got this um, Nine of Cups in the reverse. Somebody is smug and dissatisfied. They don't have any inner joy. They're very materialistic. They could have been use utilizing your energy to manifest. They could have been utilizing your energy as a service to manifest for themselves. And now they're no longer able to do that. So their challenge is this page of swords. They're challenged by new contracts and negotiations. They no longer have access to you because of these new contracts. In there, okay, in the subconscious, we've got the Three of Cups. So they're thinking about um, this community that um, collaborated together to get this happiness. So there is a Three of Cups here. They're thinking, there's, there's a community here that got the wish fulfillment. Not this person, they didn't get it. They know that somebody else got it. They're challenged by the new contracts. And they see these people celebrating them. There are people celebrating these new contracts, but they didn't get them. In their recent past, Queen of Swords in the upright. Somebody got cut out. Somebody um, utilized their clear-minded um, truth detector <laughs> and cut stuff out with the intention and expectation of making a good investment, achieving something, getting back to the routine of slow and steady, winning the race, getting back to the routine of earning that by applying self to that investment, right? To apply the vitality of self into an investment that you will have to work hard at in order to achieve financial growth. A return to the slow and the steady of earning your way. In the near future, we've got the High Priestess. A Divine Feminine is here in the near future. A spiritually Divine Feminine who's got high morals. She's mysterious. She could... Um, 
be hidden. Like maybe nobody really knows who she is. Maybe they only know of her in the subconscious, but they know that she's here. The lens that people are looking through. The Knight of Cups and the Upright. Mm. Romantic proposals. Knight in shining armor. Following the heart. Beauty. Somebody's in touch with their emotions right now and they have no problems listening to their heart. A person or message may be arriving soon. You've got somebody admiring you, High Priestess. They want to make you an offer. Or maybe Queen of Swords. Maybe you're both. Maybe you're just this fantastic thing. But you got a community of people here. So there could be a Queen of Swords and High Priestess. Okay, in the environment here. <clears throat> Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Your hard work, high standards, positive potential, earning it, developing your talents and skill to create it. Hopes and fears. We got the Three of Swords reversed. Somebody's hoping for forgiveness. There's a there's a release of the pain. This previous cycle, all the fighting, all of the with these materialistic people who wanted to steal your dream. Um you're releasing that pain and you're moving on. And you're going to get busy doing what you've always done and you're going to go create and you're going to go build and you're going to Nurture it into life. What is the outcome, spirit? The hermit. Very, very... Um, so the, the wisdom that you seek is internal. Yeah, you may use these cards and you may read the, um, um, watch the videos and all of that to gain additional perspective. But you gain your wisdom by inner contemplation, by introspection and meditation. So you've got that connection to source, that creator connection. And it's, it's an internal, it's an inside job, right? It's not external. You're not, I mean, you may go to church, but that's not all you do. You're not out there just saying, hallelujah on Sunday and then going home and um, you know grubbing down on your meat and potatoes and getting up and going to cuss out your co-worker on Monday right um, it's not that this is serious this is serious hard work clear mindedness effort applied see according to my perspective we've all been given a portion of the essence of, of the Most High. And it is our duty in this life to bring that forth, to apply the vitality to a project and to build on it, create it, make it something beautiful. That's the purpose. And sometimes you get a reward because it's successful and that's how it's created. That's how it is birthed. That is how it is manufactured. In the old cycle, we've had a lot of people who use divination tools to find out who is creating and who is manufacturing um, profit and reward, and then they go and they hijack it. Uh, I don't think we're, this cycle isn't about that. This cycle is about releasing the pain from that, from not being able to um, enjoy the rewards for your efforts. That's going away. They're no longer able to take it. 
They can't take it anymore. There's new contracts. They cannot take it anymore. They don't have access. It's over. It's over. It's the end of that cycle. They can't steal the rewards for your efforts anymore. So don't be afraid to go out there and create. Don't be afraid to go out there and apply yourself. I know that in the past, it's like every time you applied yourself, every time you put forth effort, it's like you didn't, you got, you know, crumbs as a reward. And that's because somebody else was siphoning off the top. But those contracts are over. There's new contracts, and they don't have access to your services anymore. They can't come in and take from you anymore. The players. The players can't take from you anymore. place this morning goodness gracious this chicken who has addictive problems sees people as an object and he and this person is no longer able to steal the reward from your effort they can't take it they can't take it anymore they're addicted to your energy. They're addicted to what your energy supplies them. They're addicted to your services. They're addicted to your energy. They can't have it anymore. They see you as an object. They see you as a commodity. And they're addicted to you, but they can't have it anymore because there's new contracts. Thank the most high. You're a sovereign being. They can't. You're a sovereign being and you're coming into new contracts. They're, they're challenged because you have been seen as a sovereign being. They and they've been seen as a chicken addict who's been using you a sovereign being as an object, stealing your inner happiness, stealing your joy, smug and materialistic. You're a sovereign being and they are challenged by that because you have been seen and you've got a new contract and there's celebrations here. You have a purpose. It's an official purpose. This fellow looks like he's in a religious garb, but it's it looks like the old time religious guard garb, like um. And what do the um what does the religious people do? The spiritualists, the people they guide others, right? They guide others. So this team, this so this um community. Um, it has a purpose, and it's an official purpose. They're they're um, they're sovereign beings who have unbiased judgment, who are justice, independent, clear boundaries, very clear-minded and perceptive. They're not going to play games with you. They see what it is, and they respond accordingly. There's no games. 
They were trying to martyr a wholesome person. They were trying to martyr a wholesome person and a wholesome sovereign person. And they got cut out. They got cut right out. The intention is this Knight of Pentacles, a return to slow and steady wins the race. Invisible. Somebody's invisible. It could be this wholesome person that they were trying to martyr is invisible. They can't find her. So they're not able to an aliver and steal her destiny. They're not able to steal her nine of cups. She's a sovereign being and she's being hidden. She's being made invisible. She or he genders is the card. Okay. I, I, I speak because of what's on the card. So just to keep it straight in my head. Right? So anyway, to make it simple, Lots of people say as I'm picking up on the energies, I'm saying this is the picture on the card. In order for me to tell the story as the cards tell the story, I have to say that right. But you please apply gender specific to you, however you want to see that and whatever part of the story you relate with. So there is a high priestess here and this, this um, high priestess is an artist. A bohemian, an artist, a creator, a manifester, a magician, a dreamer of reality, a high priestess. We've got somebody wanting to come in. Yeah, we've got the Knight of Pentacles here. Who could be invisible? The, now, the Knight of Pentacles may not be making themselves clear. And there is a Knight of Cups here who wants to make a proposal also, here and now. Eight of Pentacles. Diligence, hard work, observation. It could be that um, you're coming into a management position. Where you have to lead people. But you have to keep your eye on, um, like, the community and... guide it so there's a release of the pain from all of this past trauma and it's a time for play it's a time for play introspection you've got that inner connection to source there's you've got your light on your light is on your inner light is on you may not have a lot of commotion and ongoings around you, but you've got that inner connection. So you've got a very lively inner world. Um, you're a teacher or you will be. You're a teacher or you will be. And that's that thing, that observation. So you'll be observing and you'll be doing hard work on guiding people. Huh? as a sovereign being and you'll be doing it with a community of people a tribe a, a bloodline a family absence absence You may be a teacher for those children who don't have parents. For those children who, who don't no longer have parents in the new cycle. There's going to be a lot of people probably that 
being relocated along um, various t timelines, frequencies, and vibrations. However, that goes, you know, people will be realigned with whatever their um, inner frequency is. That will look like um, perhaps, perhaps that will look like a death. I mean, it very well could look like a death. Um, and there's going to be a, a need to relax and recuperate after this. Everything's being cleared. The foundations are being cleared. There is a time for recovery and renewal. You're going to be a teacher. You're going to be a teacher. And you're going to be teaching those who have suffered so horribly how to introspect, how to gain that inner connection with source. How to look within and gain that connection to source. Huh? Heavenly Father is always here. Regardless of whether or not our physical parents are present. Yeah, you're a leader. You're going to be leading these children. You're going to teach them how to communicate in the proper way. It's the prophecy. It's the purpose. Wow, this is heavy. They no longer have access to your services, which means they could have transpired. They could have shifted into another um, frequency. May, something about May. Happiness. Huh? They're challenged by your happiness. You're a sovereign being. You're happy and you're coming into new contracts. There, new contracts are being negotiated for you. There's a community here who is celebrating. They're happy um, because they've been aligned with their purpose. They're in alignment with their purpose. Okay. We've got... Hammock, taking a vacation, physically or mentally. I've been praying for a vacation for a long time <laughs> from all of this. And a new home and a new attitude. Yeah, you're going to get a vacation, physically or mentally. You're going to get a new home. You're getting a new job. You're going to be leading people. You're going to be leading them away from the heartbreak, away from the pain. And into play. This previous cycle was everybody um, advanced through suffering. Uh, that was the main theme, right? The more you suffered, the more you learned, the stronger you got. And that was the um, model. That was the management model for the old cycle was um, suffering. Of course, not everybody had to suffer. Some people got to enjoy the gains off of your suffering, but that's beside the point. So anyway, we've got, they were trying to martyr a wholesome person, but a queen of swords, this wholesome person may have been a queen of swords and they didn't realize it. They could have seen this wholesome person as just somebody who's out bailing hay, you know, some person who's unimportant, unseen, not noticed, hidden, hidden. Hidden. Somebody who may perhaps makes their own medicines. Somebody who um, is their own religious authority. And they wanted to martyr this person. They didn't realize she was a queen of swords. They didn't realize that she has unbiased judgment and clear boundaries. <laughs> they didn't realize they were dealing with a woman who, although wholesome, isn't a pushover. 
And you know, when I think of this, I think of the grandmother sitting on the porch on the old farms with her corncob pipe hanging out her mouth, right? She's like, look, I manage this house. I cook your food. I grow it too. And you're not messing around in here. I don't give a shit who you think you are. Yeah, there's something important, such as a new job or a raise. This wholesome person is being elevated. And they're, they're being kept invisible right now. There's going to be a return to hard work, making good investments. Huh. Ring. A marriage will take place, either romantic or in business. Yeah, somebody somebody has cut off access to you. They're like, no, you're not you're not effing around here anymore. And it could have been her, but it could have been somebody um, who is in alignment with her in the spirit realm. Her community of people. They're like, you're not um, you're not messing around with our sovereign anymore, right? Who is a part of our family, right? Of sovereigns, so. Got the high priestess here who is the artist, creator, manifester, dreamer of reality in the near future. She's doing something. There's discord among family and friends in something about August. Um, she there may be something, so this may there may be something that's gonna transpire in August in the summer months which is going to cause discord among friends or family. Whoever this woman is, um, family's going to come out of the, out of the woodworks and want a little piece of whatever it is, probably. Jealousy and envy will rise its head. <clears throat> When this marriage takes place and there is a new home and a new attitude, jealousy will rise its head. So um, there's a charming knight in shining armor wanting to bring a proposal to you. He could be here and now, like he could be very aware of you watching whatever it is you're doing. observing there's problems to be resolved in the here and now need to do some hard work need to be observant in this new position whatever that is wedge someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want so you're going to be looking for these wedge you're going to look for the interference. You're going to look for those who are trying to come in and claw people, taking risks, right? You're on the road to success. And um, there's hidden secrets that can harm you. So Maybe your job, part of your job, is to find the hidden secrets, to observe and find out the hidden things. That's what you're going to do. You're going to be observing. You're going to be finding those hidden things that can harm you because... Out here, there is somebody trying to be a wedge between you and something you want. And, to, and, and I feel this is somebody trying to be a wedge between the people and that inner connection to source. That claw that comes in and tries to tear them away with um, promises of materiality and thing. Right? You're on the road to success. You're on the mountain road. You're right here. You're gonna be. You're gonna be working real hard to um, thwart any of those infiltrations. And there's gonna be all kinds of tools 
that you're going to be able to utilize for that. And I'm certain, I mean, you're the high priestess. You have these, you have skills. So the intention, I mean, the, ex, the uh, hope is to um, return, the, you know, the, the children who have absent parents, you know, to, to lead them away from the pain of that they that which they've been through um lead them into um recovery and into a playful mindset there this could this is very soon something's going on last night i got a i got an announcement was going to be made in february and it could very well be that you're going to be starting a new job very, very soon. You may not even know about it. This shift that's going to be announced is is going to, well, according to um, social media, it's going to take everybody by surprise. And um, everybody's expecting it. So, yeah, you're going to be soul searching, right? Seeking independence and um, you're going to teach people how to be alone, how to meditate, how to gain that connection with the higher source, how to teach people to be in alignment with the most high, how to um, manage and build on that spiritual connection so that they don't get lost in the world of materialism or fall prey to these energies that wish to separate them from the heavenly father right situations in the balance that require careful handling you're a teacher and you will be successful you will be successful you have a strong emotion you've got passionate love or hate and it could be that you have a passionate love for the children and for those that you are going to be in service to. And you have a passionate hate for what had been done to them. And this will, this passion um, will propel you into managing this situation successfully. And it could be it could be a slow task. It's not going to happen overnight. Trauma takes time to heal. Um, if you know anything about <clears throat> the neural pathways of the brain, anytime you are managing your thoughts and and the um, the habitual ruts, the highways going through the mind, these habitual thought patterns. Anytime you're reformatting a thought pattern or a rut flowing through your neural pathway, um, it takes time <clears throat> and diligence. You have to stay after it and you have to stay after it hard. Much like building any relationship or managing any relationship, you have to take charge of it and um, be firm and gentle at the same time because it requires both. Obviously, it requires both. <clears throat> Anyhow, I'm gonna leave that one here. <clears throat> I'm trying to I'm trying to leave it at these three decks so that I can cut down on the time limit because I, yeah, this keeps it at about 30 minutes. I think that's a pretty good time. I hope that you're all doing really well. Um, I hope that this helps. You're a sovereign being, and these these um, there are particular people, chickens, addicts, um, stealers of joy, uh, who are being um, separated from being able to access your energy, your life, and um, having the ability to manifest off of it. So. Be happy. It's a beautiful morning. I'll see you on the next one.